The 2019 remake of The Lion King remained truthful to the 1994 original movie while still managing to work in some subtle Easter eggs, some of which pay tribute to the film's legacy, as well as that of Disney as a whole. Here are some of the small details you might not have noticed in The Lion King. The character of Zazu is much like he was in the original. Once again, the bird has a British accent, advises the king, and is a bit pompous. Just like in the 1994 version of The Lion King, Zazu delivers a pun-filled morning report to Mufasa. This time around, though, Zazu is portrayed by someone whose voice many people are used to hearing giving the news, John Oliver. Everything you see, including me, is entirely computer-generated. <laughs> you may recognize him from the HBO show Last Week Tonight with John Oliver. Casting the seasoned TV show host as Zazu is a cheeky reference to the actor's real-life job. And it's one that makes the movie even more fun. Just like Zazu, John Oliver puts a creative and often sassy spin on the news. Oliver's version of the character plays up the comedy a bit more this time around than the character did in 1994, and he eagerly asks Mufasa if he gets his jokes, making it clear that he's not just a newsman, but a funny one like Oliver himself. While the new Lion King movie covers a lot of the same ground as the original, there are some notable differences. Many of them, however, aren't changes that were made for the movie but were rather details incorporated from the Broadway adaptation. Rafiki, for example, is no longer a lovably odd but wise loner like he was in the 90s. Instead, he is a serious and revered shaman-like being. He goes from being an important but comical character to the glue that holds the whole storyline together, much like the stage version of Rafiki does. One of the film's new songs, He Lives In You, will also be familiar to those who know the Broadway adaptation soundtrack. The song isn't just featured in the Broadway show but can also be heard in the direct-to-video Lion King 2, connecting this remake to yet another Lion King story. The links to the Broadway show don't end there. Shahadi Rai Joseph, who voices young Nala in the film, is actually a seasoned veteran when it comes to the character. Joseph played young Nala on Broadway in 2014. You were in The Lion King on Broadway? Yes, except I was not. One of the best Easter eggs in The Lion King is a short but hilarious scene that references another beloved Disney classic. In the original film, Timon and Pumbaa provide a distraction to lure the hyenas away from Pride Rock by having Timon dress up in a grass skirt. Approaching the hyenas, Timon begins to hula dance and offers Pumbaa up as the main dish of a luau. The performance draws the attention of the hyenas and leads them away as they chase down what they hope will be their dinner. In the remake, Timon and Pumbaa still act as live bait, but this time Timon puts on a French accent instead of a grass skirt and invites the hyenas to dine on Pumbaa in a not-so-subtle reference to the Be Our Guest number in Beauty and the Beast. Timon even manages to get a couple words of the song out before the hyenas give chase, bringing an end to both the number and the tribute to the iconic film. While two members of the main trio of hyenas provide comic relief in The Lion King, their leader, Shenzi, voiced by Florence Kasumba, is no longer a comedic villain but a serious and fierce warrior. This new Shenzi is much quieter and more calculating than the wisecracking character from the original version of the film. She makes up part of the guard of hyenas protecting King Scar. This new spin on Shenzi feels an awful lot like another character played by Kasumba, the Marvel Cinematic Universe's Io. Much like Black Panther's Io, Shenzi is a part of a legion of warriors who guard the king. She's smart, brave, and fearless. The two characters have more similarities than you'd ever expect. Now, this could be a coincidence, but considering that The Lion King's director, Jon Favreau, has also acted in, produced, and directed several films in the Disney-owned Marvel Cinematic Universe, it's not unreasonable to think that Shenzi's new persona is at least a bit of a deliberate nod to Io. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.